Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. Today we're going to look at how to clear your cache, your cache from your Mac. We are running Mac OS Sierra and let's go through how you do it right now. So here we are on the Mac and we're going to go and show you how to delete your cache. There are a couple of areas that you do it from. Um, there are a couple of library folders which are normally hidden, but we'll show you how to access them so you can go and delete these. Now I will mention, we'll just open up the finder here. I will mention that uh, deleting your cache will delete uh, essentially customization um, information for your applications. Um, so your applications, uh, when they open up, they will uh, have settings saved in them which are stored in certain folders on your Mac to be able to customize it and have you know certain things saved by default perhaps the way that you have standardized a, a, a you know a program to open or, or a certain design of how a program may look etc etc so deleting your cache can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing so only delete these if you're confident uh, at what you're doing and that you know exactly what you are deleting um, it is a, a good thing to do from time to time because it will clear up a whole heap of old junk um, especially from perhaps applications that you have deleted previously, uh, they will still be stored in these library folders. So from our finder, you'll see that I've already got a library folder listed under my favorites, but more than likely you probably won't. So the easiest way to do this is on your finder, on your, on your menu bar, your toolbar at the top, go into the go and then go to folder. Now in here, what we're going to do is just a forward slash and click on OK. That will then bring up your root Macintosh hard drive and there should be a folder in here called library. If there isn't, if it's hidden, again you can go into go to folder and actually go forward slash and type in library and OK. And that will open up the library even if it is hidden. Within there you've got a folder called caches or caches depending on where you're from um, and that is what you can delete now these are your this is the cache from your root hard drive okay so delete this as your own peril you can extend this and you can actually see what uh, you're going to be deleting so you can go ahead and delete those if you want it will generally prompt you for a password if you want to do this okay so this is the the cache for your entire computer the next area that you do it is from your users folder. So generally you'd go into your users and then your my particular home drive and you'll see that there's no library in there because library is hidden. So what you can do is if you go into go, go to folder, you want to do this little squiggly line tilde, a forward slash library. So this will automatically go to your um, your home drive, okay? Your the home drive that you're currently logged in as forward slash library, and that will then go ahead and open it up, okay? So this is now the library from your home drive. Again, we go into this folder, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Select them all from here, and then delete. Okay, as I said, this is going to ask you for your credentials and then it'll go and delete it. So a good example of what may happen here is I've got a, a program called TeamViewer, um, which lets me remotely control computers. And I've got some saved settings in here, saved customization. By me deleting this, you're essentially resetting the app to factory default in a way, sort of, uh, so that the next time you open it up, it's going to be fresh. It's going to ask you to customize it again and put in your saved passwords and things of that nature. So only do this if you really know what you're doing uh, because it can cause applications to function funny if you don't know the effect of deleting uh, your cache. Okay. Uh, often some of these will be in use because your programs are running in the background. Um, so you may be able to delete them, but you may not be able to delete them and empty it from your trash until you restart your Mac then you can delete it from your trash and that will be gone. Okay, so they are the two areas that I would go and delete uh, from your Mac if you want to delete your cache. But as I said, do this at your own risk. Thanks for watching. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel Digital by Computing just on the button there for more videos.